Sid, so how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kinsey, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. <sighs> you just have to deal with it. <gasps> this is not my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Space. Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Final. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say. I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. That's two. One more to go. Oh, I'm gonna thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet. Dad, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you, nightmares. Is anyone counting these kills? <laughs> Thank you. 
Last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying... What idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I never knew like that play. Coming up on Matt's prison. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. He'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad, I'll be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. Kenzie, what's going on? Before you. I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer 
without you in it. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. What is the pirate of a raven? Ugh. <sighs> All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the Commander-in-Chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Every store you hack feeds me security data. I can use that data to insert a virus, which will open up a doorway back to the ship. So go hack while I work on the virus. Got it. I need a stable environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. Also, I should be able to create an upgrade to your blast with this. Sure, why not? Hey, Kinsey, you wanna fuck? Let's go. out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine. Take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith.
landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I do have time to get them working, so... No guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found you power armor. Because it is missing stuff. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and... Oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worms like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. If you can't hack the doors, I don't exactly have fingers. How do I open them? Works. And there are the alien guards. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Did you guys skip combat training? I got a robot! Thanks, Kinsey, but I hope so. Good to be the president! Get away from me! I made it! Whoa, 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 Matt, relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they have robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kinsey was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Yeah, Kizzy said the guns are missing... stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. I don't sell it. It's a gun. I got it. More than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie.
close. I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Back, get down. Pick up some more. any worse, you'd be shooting yourself! Can't handle things, Matt. I'm sure Keith David would love a crack at this. That is Mr. Keith David to you!
to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? We need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. It's not too much trouble. I need to better familiarize myself with how the simulation works. I figure if I watch the changes to the code take place when you do a few different tasks for me, I should get a stronger grasp on the workings of Zim programming. Fine, but I better get something out of this. Please try not to destroy this ship. It's too beautiful to die. Like me. Tell me honestly, if Kinsey hadn't made you, would you have rescued me from the Zin? You know what, don't answer that. Please try not to destroy this ship. It's too beautiful to die. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> 